Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I thought I would be painting three different silhouette paintings and I did do my sketch on just a printing paper and it is available for download from my website so there is a link in the description box if you want to check it out, download it for yourself and just join in this painting. Also, you can choose not to make three paintings on one watercolor paper. You can just make them a separate, a separate pieces. That is completely up to you. I decided I want to make it quite simple. So I'm doing three of them on just the same watercolor paper. But the first one, I did add uh, some blue. This is turquoise blue and painted in the entire sky and then on top with the same color but this time a bit more saturated I'm adding clouds and also I've used a little bit tiny bit of the black just uh, in the lower part of the clouds to make that part slightly darker and then moved on to the second one and for the second one again same thing but this time I did prevent the paper added some water just to show you that you can also do it that way and I'm going to leave this to dry because I won't be adding any clouds here. And for the third one also did prevent the paper. And then on top I'm adding some clouds again using same color turquoise blue. I'm using a little bit smaller brush for the clouds. And this time they are also a little bit lighter and a bit smaller clouds. I'm using quite a amount of the pigment and a little bit less water in my brush because I don't want any blooms or cauliflower so I've just used a little bit less of the water. Now I will just do the moon shape because I want to cover the part around my moon. I am going to pick up the paint with brush so I did want to make it easier for me and just do the edge of the moon. So I just used a masking tape, glued it on top of the sticker paper, cut it and then glue it on top of my watercolor paper. It has to be completely dry. Paint is fully, fully dry. So it's just make sure it is dry so you don't smudge it. And now I'm picking up the paint for the moon. Also adding just a little bit more of the blue around the moon and a couple of clouds. And then uh, with... And then with black, I'm painting in the rock and also the wolf that it's sitting on the rock, just using black. And you can definitely choose to use different colors for the skies. That is completely up to you. I wanted to make all of all three of them exactly the same color, so I used only blue turquoise and black just adding a little bit more of the pigment around the wound it was a little bit I guess barely visible so I did wanted to add a little bit more of the pigment around it to make it more visible for the second one I will be using some sponge and with the sponge I will be painting leaves on my trees and branches and this is just, I believe, car washing sponge, if I'm not mistaking. So I've picked up that one. And also just make sure that there is not a lot of the water in your paint, but it is quite pigmented to make those, I guess, those the foliage look a little bit nicer so you don't get just a black spot. And if it's if you notice that your sponge is too wet, just dry it on a paper towel. I've added a couple of splatters with white for the stars and then just same thing as previously. I picked up the paint for the moon and added just a tiny bit also of the white there to make it a little bit more visible. And with this smaller brush, I'm just adding a couple of branches. And everything in front is going to be a silhouette so it is going to be black and everything in the background is going to be blue now I'm painting in the deer and it is also of course on the sketch so you can just trace it for yourself 
and just make sure you use a quite darker pencil because when you add watercolors on top they will be mostly covered that's what happened for me with the trees they were just barely visible when I've added watercolors on top so just make sure you use I guess quite uh, darker pencil or just if you're using a tracing paper as I did and your sketch turned out to be quite light just go on top with pencil especially on the part where the uh, where the silhouettes are where the darker paint is going to be not where the moon is because you don't want there your line to show through even though it is showing through for mine I don't mind that but if you do just make sure that the pencil sketch is lighter there and for the third one I've painted in almost a see-through moon <laughs> I wanted to make it look like it's somewhat of the glass so I've just added on top a very very light wash of the of the blue so it kind of looks like it's a see-through moon and also picked up a little bit of the white from the top did the silhouette black elephant and with that I'm done with all three of my paintings I hope you enjoyed it you can see it's quite simple so this is something that you can use for any silhouette painting you can do flowers you can do different animals trees houses buildings whatever you like that's just up to you it's the opportunities are very very wide so hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel and that would be awesome I would really appreciate that there are over I don't know 400 tutorials there so I'm sure you will find something for yourself again guys thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye